Well, hell fired has rocked the riff, and I am back for some more Bramble the Mountain King. Pretty positive we're gonna finish it today. Uh, I think we've actually made it to the Mountain King's lair. Yeah, so we got all this crazy shit to do. I knew it. I knew it. This is a good one. That's how I start off Rock the Wrist Channel, baby. Come on. Got lucky with that one. Audio design of this game. Hit it again. Close. But no cigar. I'll check this door out. Like, I don't think they're gonna be able to beat the 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 dude or the lady with the rake. I had somebody comment on one of my shorts of it on TikTok saying that it was a lady, but I couldn't tell. The mountain king who was meant to be hidden forever was now revealed. He just had to reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. All right. Are we climbing up the front here? Guess not. I guess we're running around. Why is the Mountain King a giant? sword. Now we're actually walking across the bramble. Save my sister. Well, hey, you got some good balance, brother. How many people's in there? There's more than your sister. Dude don't even feed himself. What are we doing, Ole? I thought 
he's gonna stop that. What the fuck? We didn't stop shit. Oh, man. So do we have to cut her out of the giant stomach? This is such a cool interpretation of that song. Like, I don't even care if I get a copyright claim. Oh shit. Ba 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 ba. in the Mountain King is what we're doing. He couldn't get us with his cutlery. Now he's going to get us with the sword and the staff. us in half. <laughs> Got to jump it. Do we jump it or do we duck it? Got it. So we can't duck it, that just gets our head chopped off.
We have to hide behind one of those things when that happens. Oh, and he double hits. Dude, this boss is fucking pretty cool, man. The checkpoints in it are kind of easy. Dude, my kill count is going to be terrible on this. Now I know. Of course I get hit. Take on Ole, cause I got a magic rock! Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Damn it. Damn it! some of the best boss music ever. weakened the mountain king so clearly for the first time in centuries and what he saw reminded him of his beloved son yeah, I was wondering if the outfit was gonna make him think anything like that he would not lose him again this time King Nils would overcome the darkness And what happened to Ole just now? He was on top. He was on top of that. <laughs> Dude, the music at the ending here is fantastic. The source of the curse blossomed. King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. I don't the give a only shit. way to get to Lilimur was now up and in. So we gotta get eaten too.
not fill us in his beard. Magic rock. Oh, wait, no way you survive. No way you survive that fall. Magic ending. Oh, is the magic rock gonna heal him? Tuva had one last gift to give to Ole. Life. <coughs> Honestly, him dying would have fit the rest of the game. I can't believe we're gonna have one one of the stories here actually have a good ending. The Mountain King dead. His prison started to crumble. <laughs> hey! Elvis, always look after his friend. The Loom Loomis. That dude is the the savior of the game. Yeah, I probably could have finished this in the last episode. nightmare woke her up frightened by her memories she searched for her brother's comfort oh shit but he was nowhere to be found is there a whole nother story with Lilymore? so that's that same weird ass paint Nothing's there. Leave them all that way. No matches or nothing. Achievement unlocked. Home again. However, the darkness outside did not scare her. Because yeah, Lily Moore went through some shit. <laughs> because she knew she had her brother. Okay. That is Bramble the Mountain King. I could have finished it in the last episode. I might should have. But, uh. It is what it is. That was a really, really good game. I don't know. I would say it's up there with Little Nightmares and all that. I think this game has better music. Uh, the mechanics ain't bad. I think there's a 
I guess where I'm spoiled with like playing games, other 2D. This I don't know why I keep associating this game with like a 2D side scroller, but even though it's not, it just has that same vibe to it, I guess. But uh, overall, I enjoyed the hell out of it. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think this was a $24.99, $25. Not bad. I think it's a little expensive. I'd have to go back and look see if it was $20. To me, this is a perfect $20 game for sure. And then also, this is something like game mechanics wise, you could get non gamers to really get into. But the story is dark as fuck. <laughs> Can we skip any of those? But, uh... Yeah. That was really good. I don't know if I really want to sit through the credits, but I'm kind of like... I wonder if there's a stinger at the end. Maybe to set up a sequel. But I wish you could, like, fast forward through them or something. Let's see... Won't let me skip though. But uh, I gotta give it to the Mountain King. I was wondering if that song was gonna be in this. Cause ain't it called ain't it like called Halls of the Mountain King or something shit like that? Damn Frost Studio, man. Y'all know the damn damn big game. I, I'm curious if this is y'all's first. Made with Unreal Engine. Yeah, it looked good. The monsters are fantastic. I think, uh... I mean, the story is very short. I know some people were knocking it out in, like, three hours. I'm, I guess I put... I guess I put three or four... Four hours and twenty-something minutes. Hmm. But... That was the ending, and now I'm going to have to search for another game to add to my episodic uh, section of my channel. But I, I really, 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 really dig that. What's funny is I was playing a VR game, uh, Walking Dead, before this, before I added this. and I had more fun with Bramble, the Mountain King, than I did uh, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. And you would think it being VR and more interactive and stuff, you would have a bit, a better time with it, but the hands down, this game has some of the best monsters in it. They're all like cool, interesting to look at, but uh, it's not too frustrating. Like even right there with the Mountain King, I do feel like that boss fight's checkpoint system was a bit easy. I kind of wish it would have made you, like, I, I get the first phase, but then the second phase, I felt like, could have, I don't know how to explain it. I couldn't tell because the the music just kept up, up and up and up and up, and, but interesting, for sure. I think I have to give it to the, the, the dear lady, the... The lady that was seducing people, or dudes, and bringing them into the woods. I think that was my favorite creature of the game. Because it made me question whether or not to actually... Like, should I have stabbed her that much in the forehead? <laughs> but then reading the book later on, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. So she was just... She was pretty evil, because all her whole goal was to seduce... Uh, seduce dudes, bring them out in the woods, and fuck their shit up. Uh, I think I had to give it to the the plague uh, creature. That hands down to me was the freakiest. I think that was the my favorite boss fight in the game. I don't know why, but it just it took me back to like bosses from some of my favorite games back in the day, like Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda. I don't. That to me is my favorite formula of adventure games. I like the dungeons. Figuring out the dungeons and puzzles and then getting to a cool-ass boss at the end. And uh, it's like I instantly thought of Bongo Bongo fighting that thing to a certain extent. But yeah, that that was cool. 
The Mount King was a cool boss. Uh, the Troll. The Troll was really cool. All of them. All of them were fantastic. A bit. A bit on the easy side of gaming and everything. I, I, I'm. Because, I mean, basically all you have is the magic rock and jumping. But overall, I would give that. Hmm. I'd have to give this 10 out of 10 horns. Because besides length, besides it being a short game and the price tag, there's nothing I can sit here and say that is really bad about what's going on with this game. Hmm. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are and uh, if you've had a good time watching my playthrough and everything. I think I'm excited to look for another game to add to the channel and everything. If this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, like I just said, what what your feelings were towards the game. How, uh, what boss was your favorite one, and all that. I think, I think I got to give it to the the plague rake uh, creature. Damn, though, I, I still the lady with the deer horns. Those two are fighting for the top spot. But either way, uh, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.